All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and install the RDO Lobby Manager, which allows you to play Red Dead Online in a private lobby with your friends without having to worry about any hackers or anything else. To say this is a mod is kind of stretching it. This does not really change any files in your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. It just changes and adds an XML file that encourages Red Dead Online to load into a limited private lobby instead of the public ones. So there's no hacks or anything required. This is not some sort of strange workaround or some strange mod. This is literally just a one button lobby manager that changes a XML file that you can change back at any time to play in regular online mode. So after you go on to Nexus Mods and download it from the manual install thing, just Google RDO Lobby Manager and grab it off of Nexus Mods. It's made by Fade H. And then it'll give you a folder that says something like this, RDO Lobby Manager, whatever the current version is. And I'm going to extract this using 7-Zip to a folder of the same name. And inside of here is a bunch of stuff that you don't need to worry about. You just want to click on the RDO Lobby Manager down here at the bottom. You can leave this wherever you want on your computer. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be in with the Red Dead Redemption files. You can stick it wherever. The first thing we want to do is tell it where our Red Dead Redemption 2 is located. And to find that information, we're going to go to Steam. And we're going to right click Red Dead Redemption 2, go to Properties, go down to Installed Files and then we're gonna browse where it is located on my computer. So from here, you can see this is where it's located. It's in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Red Dead Redemption 2. So I'm gonna go back to my Lobby Manager. I'm gonna click Set the Directory, and then I can actually just, whoops, I can copy and paste this directory up here from this top menu bar directly into here. And then we can select this folder. From here, we can then set up our, let me just close all this other stuff I don't need anymore. From here, we can set up the details of the lobby we want to use. And you're gonna wanna set this up custom so that other people can't randomly join you. We're gonna call this um, tutorial lobby because this is a tutorial. We're gonna set the random number over here to six. This changes like the lobby number mode to six because you can have a bunch of different lobbies called tutorial, but if you have a different like specific number attached to it, you'll only log into that one. We'll set our password to uh, leet, and then we can create our new lobby. Now what you wanna do if you're gonna use this to go play with your friends is once you've got this set up, you can select it from this drop down menu. I've got other stuff that you could have multiple different lobbies if you wanted. I'm gonna click on use that lobby, and then anybody with this code, this name, and this number can join the same lobby as me, and we can play together privately. You can then invite your friends to your lobby if you don't immediately see them in there where you can actually play with them through the Rockstar social, like, thing, like the Rockstar, friends list. So now that we've got this and we've selected use, when I log into the free roam mode of Red Dead Redemption online, it should put me into this lobby alone. And then if my friends log in, they should either A, end up in the same lobby as me where I can invite them to a posse, or if they're not and you don't see them, don't worry, don't freak out, just invite them to your lobby through the Rockstar Online friends list and they should be able to join you relatively easily. With that in mind, if you ever want to go back to playing in the regular public servers, all you have to do is click on this button down here to go back to public, and it'll automatically kick you back to the public lobbies where you don't need to worry about being locked away from your friends and all of that. You can just play normally with all of the people in the online mode. Now, it's worth noting that you cannot play a lot of the different online game modes in a private lobby. A lot of the free range game modes where you have to like queue up with other people will not function correctly when you're in a private lobby. You will also not be able to do a lot of the random story missions as well. But you can do a lot of the regular missions like hunting bounties, 
delivering goods, hunting random animals, collecting things, all of that stuff works just fine. It's just the ones that take you to a separate server to queue up with other people. Those are the ones you can't do. So I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.